the others were like, where's the case while going? Where's this and that? And it has come to a stop. This is no cap. I actually list up the K-Series on Facebook. They sold the transmission and the K-Series. Now a lot of people are thinking are like, why did you sell the K-Series? Why did you sell... You were literally building it, you repainted it, you even got some sponsorship for it. I felt like I was rushing it too much and also I never really got to enjoy this D-Series as much as I did the K-Series and just because it's a little different. As you guys know, this is a D16 Z6 so it does have VTEC and also not only that, when I bought this car, it actually is built. Someone previously, and I didn't believe it until I changed the oil pan, and when I changed the oil pan gasket on this thing, lo and behold, there was eagle rods in here, Wisco pistons, and I'm pretty sure some new rod bearings, I'm pretty sure. They were telling me all about it of the previous owner that I bought it from, and they said they actually built this. The next reason why I sold the K-Series is because, well, uh, it just got more expensive than I thought. Um, me being an influencer, obviously I have the perks of getting sponsorships, but I'm not gonna call their names or anything like that, but there were some companies that were willing to pull through with the project and help this build out and have this thing case swap by the end of last year of 2023, and now it's 2024, it's February, it's almost Valentine's Day. And well, they really been kind of lagging it on me. I've been pretty persistent with them, but unfortunately, the case swap didn't go through as a, a deal. And that's just me keeping it real because I'm some on some real stuff. On some real stuff, like honey, honey stuff. Yeah, the K-Series costs a lot, bro. Uh, even if I did pull money out of my own pocket, it would cost me a lot of money. And the thing is, I wanna use that money for a new project this year that I'm trying to save up for. Some of y'all guys that tune into my live stream, y'all guys know what I wanna get, but I'm still keeping the Civic. That's all I wanna say. I don't wanna keep yapping on this and this, this, this. I sold it to a fan, so hopefully he puts it into good use. He actually watches the video, so shout out to you. What is the plan for the D-Series now, okay? Since it's built, we just need to replace this because it has been leaking a lot of oil. Let me show you. The rim main seal is bad, so not only it's been leaking in my driveway, right, okay? Whole trail of oil that's just been sitting here because the car's been sitting outside because I didn't want to make the garage dirty. Paint this thing finally white and then clean up the whole harness. Make it super clean as a D-Series. That's kind of my goal. And uh, it, I want to show you guys that it really doesn't take a lot of money to make something fun or something quick. For the end of that note, um, well, we do got some two parts that we are going to install today. See if it actually fits. Um, these are fake knockoff eBay ones for like 20 bucks for a full set. Let's be real. Who wants to spend a hundred dollars on hubcaps? I also got um, reverse red out, cut out, whatever you want to call it. Because I have the clears, I want to be a little bit different and I was wondering if I put a red style on the clear. It's brand new. Back like so. Pop it in. Plop this in like so. Oh god, it's not working. Uh, God, this video is just such a fail, man. It's supposed to go in, but it's just, if you look in this edge right here where my finger is, it's just slightly big and I can't press it any further. On the bright side, this is vinyl, so if it doesn't look good, then we just always take it off. And then just lay this over. I'm not the best vinyl wrapper in town, but uh, this is what we got. Um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. Probably take it off. I'm not sure. Oh my god. We will turbo this thing soon and get a new project soon. That's all I gotta say. And without further ado, uh, yeah, that's it.